You want to know the real, real when it comes to law of assumption? Buckle up and hang on tight because we're about to spill all the tea. This is not intended for the faint-hearted, so if you get triggered easily, you're sensitive, or have the emotional intelligence of a toddler, skip this video. You're not going to like it because this video is not for you. Listen, I'm not here to blow smoke up your fucking ass or give you some half-truths about what manifestation actually is or what law of assumption is. There's a lot of watered-down cockamamie bullshit out there, and this is why so many of you are confused and have no idea what it actually is. Listen, I get it. Law of assumption seems sparkly and glitterly with all these lights and all the people are jumping on the bandwagon and wanting to manifest their SP and they're like, yeah, this seems cool. Everyone's doing it. Ah with that comes the responsibility of understanding that everything is you, 100% you. Not 5%, not 20%, not 99.9%. .9%, all of it is you. Listen, if this doesn't resonate, there's other types of modalities you can use to manifest. There's human design, my most favorite. There's grab avoid numbers. There's law of attraction. You can use astrology, witchcraft. You get my point. Remember, you're not always going to like everything that everyone says. So you have the right to reject it. If you like everything I say, except for that one thing, you can reject it in your own damn reality. But let me tell you, by not understanding that everyone is you pushed out and that all of it is you will limit you and you will not be able to manifest everything to your fullest potential. We are one with everything in this entire world. You are not separate from anything. That means you have the ability to change it by first changing yourself. When you change, the outside world changes. That's just how this works. This is why it's called law of assumption. Whatever we believe, we manifest, period. About everything, about science, about health, about the government, about our dog, about the food, about the world, about the elites, etc. And yes, this can be applied to all of those areas. There's no limitations there. And the only limitations you have are the ones that you have put there or came into this world believing by being taught that, right? Like meaning like we were programmed that way, but that doesn't mean that we can't change it. Some people will like to argue and say that some things can't be changed. Yeah, that's a crock of shit. You can literally change anything. The whole reason that I preach the way I do and sometimes I come hard at you guys with tough love is because I want you to wake up and smell the coffee. I don't want you to spend months and years trying to figure this shit out because it can be a very long, confusing, complicated, and lonely road. And I speak from fucking experience, meaning I went through some hardships and that's why I am so straightforward and I cut through the bullshit. That's just my personality and I've always been that way since I was a little girl. I'm blunt and honest and to the point, but it always comes from the most sincerest part of my heart. But that doesn't mean when someone's being an asshole or acting up that I'm not gonna have human emotions about it. Hell yeah, I will. And the truth is I know I manifested all this shit because lately I've been focusing on this more and boom, it's showing up more. So that means I gotta change some self-concept and about you little buggers being little nuisances in my comments. So this comment was made on a video I made where I really got into thought transmission and I was basically telling you guys that not, not to put such an emphasis on your specific person, on what they're thinking, on what they're doing and what they're dreaming about or whatever. Why? Because it doesn't matter what they're thinking or doing because they are only reflecting what you think they're thinking and doing, whatever you're predominantly thinking, what you believe they are actually doing, not what you're trying to change them to be. By the way, those are two very different things. Once you finally start to believe that or shift into that, sure, they will become that. That's how instant this is. Meaning when you finally embody the state, they will reflect that back into your reality. That's all the video was basically saying, hey, stop worrying so much about what they're thinking and feeling. Like, let that shit go. Because if you're thinking, what are they thinking and feeling? You're obviously not in the state. You're not focusing on what you should be focusing on. Because this isn't about them, it's about you. That was the whole point of the video, literally. And then I got this beautiful comment. That makes no fucking sense. If they are me pushed out, then what am I to them? What the fuck? It makes complete fucking sense 
Either one, you know shit about law of assumption. Two, you've never been taught. Everyone is you pushed out. Or three, you're triggered as fuck and you're looking for someone to blame. Despite which of the three you are, it honestly doesn't matter. You need to understand that yes, they are a reflection of you. That does not mean that they are not human and do not have human emotions. They are just as real as you are. But they take their commands from you because your mind creates that version of them by the image that you're holding of them in your mind. Does that make sense? We do this all the time. We're just not aware of it. Everyone in your reality loves you so much that they will be exactly what you want them to be. This is literally a world of fucking mirrors. Everything in our reality is reflected back to us. It's a fucking projection. That's all it is. And there's multiple timelines out there, like billions, literally, to choose from. So you are not stuck in one parallel timeline or another. Like, this is endless and you can change it second by second. But yes, in their reality, you are them pushed out. Meaning, whatever they predominantly believe about you is the way you show up in their reality. But that doesn't matter because... Your two realities don't, do not coincide. That's just not how this works. And if you don't believe me, pick up any of Neville's books. He goes over this over and over and over again. Everyone loves to come to Law of Assumption because that's how they can manifest their specific person. And honestly, we have like the highest rate of people getting their specific person back or manifesting a new specific person, etc. But some of you are not ready to take radical responsibility for everything in your life. And yes, that's what it takes in order to really master this. And it's not about manipulating or harming anyone. If you don't like my teachings, I highly suggest you scroll past me, ignore me, block me, or hit the uninterested button because that's what grown adults do. And that's the real tea. Like and follow to learn manifesting the right way.